Now, I had a, an interesting one that I wanted to discuss, Lewis, and this is something that collectors throughout the world debate. Um, so, Brazil, is it PAL or is it NTSC? <laughs> I remember when the uh, Belisner, uh, uh, he came to me and he said, "Whoa, Luis, I'm I'm just I'm just almost there to complete my Pell set. I just need Chavez cart. Uh, Chavez cart is the Brazilian name for El Chavo cart." And uh, I said, "Okay, okay, no problem. I'll go it after for you. But why is that the, a, a Pell game for you?" And and he said, but but uh, uh, I always I always thought here in Brazil, uh, the the system uh, uh, the TV system there is a PAL uh, M, and and then I said to him, yeah, the, there was a time in the nineties where we had a system color, and our system color color was PAL M, and uh, it, it was in, it was uh, uh, kind of unusual because other other. I think Pell M is it was exclusive for Brazil, and some games. I remember a Super Mario RPG when I got that game and I put on my Super Nintendo. Uh, the game was black and white, and I didn't I didn't know why at the time. Uh, so uh, I got to a, I got to to an electric engineer, and he did had to modify my my console, my Super Nintendo, in order to uh, the colors appear in Super Mario RPG. So we had that that system here in Brazil, but I believe, uh, in in my understanding, that when um, HD tele HD television came and uh, we uh, we started to use HDMI cables, uh, uh, that that the, that no longer makes a difference. Uh, uh, even even in in the the label of our Brazilian games, uh, it's B L U S and B C U S. Uh, it's just like we we have the the same uh, system as uh, North Americans, so I I could say today that we use NTSC uh, and not PAL. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I as far as collecting is concerned, I consider yeah Brazil is just an outlier. You know, it's its own thing. I mean, <laughs> I I don't chase Brazil. I have a friend of mine, he he messaged me today. He's like, uh, I was thinking about going after this game. What do you think? And it was uh, El Chavez card. And then uh, I was like, aren't you going for a full uh, North American set? He's like, yeah. He's like, yeah, that that one's that one's Brazilian. He's like, what? I said, yeah, El, North America is El Chavo. And uh, Brazil is, is uh, El Chavez card. I, I think I saved the guy a couple hundred bucks. He's like, holy shit, I have no idea. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, it's. It's a gray area for some people. People, some people don't know what the hell. And he's like, I, I thought that uh, I thought that age that age badge looked a little odd. So uh, <laughs> just make sure. So I wouldn't consider Brazilian games, I guess, part of the uh, the the North American set. But uh, I, it's not pal. Uh, you, you know what? Your own your your own thing. Uh, just, just <laughs> you can keep it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think that's really interesting because, um, like, Beliskin is right. When, if you talk in the 90s, PAL and N NTSC meant something. Like, PAL meant it was, I think, 55 hertz where NTSC 50. was 60. True. Okay, 50 and 60. Where today, that doesn't actually mean anything. Yeah, we still it use doesn't. these words and it doesn't really mean anything. We're just sort of talking about the different age rating systems and, like, what's printed on the covers. Yeah. And the odd thing about PAL M is that we were PAL in the nineties, but we were sixty hertz, so it was it was its own thing. Yeah, uh, yeah. The the HDMI cable killed NTSC, killed PAL, but yeah, that's that's still how we refer to games, and uh, it's just uh, it's just how it goes. I had a guy argue in in the facebook group uh he he was arguing to death that no there's no such thing as pal there's no such as when we we're talking about ps3 games and he was i mean he was right but uh he couldn't wrap his head around the fact that that's just what they call them that's just the uh that's just the language of these games and uh it still is to this day even ps4 and ps5 oh is that yeah. a, it's, a, it's a peggy rating it's a pal game you know, but you know, there's no pal system anymore pal and ntsc it's just a uh, it's a television format, and that's all it is. Yeah, but but you said you said will that uh, you you actually don't uh, personally consider uh, Brazilian games part of the North American set. 
it's true, it's not part of the North American set. But see, for example, uh, a game that in Europe uh, is called uh, Move Mind Benders. And uh, uh, um, uh, is it Move Mind Benders? I, I think yeah, it is. Right. Yeah. Uh, and here in Brazil, we just got a PlayStation. Uh, uh, it is PlayStation Move Puzzle Collection is the name of the game. It's the exact same game as Move Mind Menders, but Move Mind Menders uh, is considered a part of the PAL set. Uh, but PlayStation Puzzle uh, Move Puzzle Collection does has does have the uh, B C U S ID. So it, it's it's uh, it's U S in the ID of the title. Uh, so there is some Canadian and North Americans that uh, that ask me that game because they just put in their set just because in the uh, uh, in the spine where the ID is it, it, it's US. I I, I I I deny it. I, uh, no, <laughs> no, you're no, it doesn't exist. I don't look at the spine. <laughs> to me, uh, I never. Yeah, I do look at the spines, I guess. But uh, to me. Uh, I'm, I'm closed-minded American, and uh, it's all about the age restriction on the, the <laughs> bottom corner. That's that's what's going to make it a pal or Brazilian or. Third. So you do. So you do go after the Mexican ones that yeah that has the YesRB logo. Uh yeah. Uh what is, what is it? Lute, the the Lucha Libre one. Uh, what else is out there? Uh, There's Sensei 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 Soldier Soul. Yeah, I, I've ha I've had those. Those came in and out of my collection. Uh, um, sure. oh, actually, I think I had those pal, but uh, and then the NFL and Espanol. I think that was was the NFL and Espanol. Was that I don't, was that PS2 or, or just PS3 or both? I don't remember. That was a Mexican release. That one. Yeah, but uh, you know, Mexican release is, is still North or North America. It's still NTSC, but they you know they still got the ESRB badges on them. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and of course, El, El Chavo cart. Um, El Chavo cart. I found two of them at the same time once. I got a hell of a deal on them. Uh, and then I sold them immediately because uh, they're, I didn't want them in my collection. <laughs> to me, there's a pre there's a pretty hard to find one uh, uh, that I think it's Mexican and yeah, and has the SRB logo. It's that double pack, the Sports Champions with Medieval 